best characters in Project M doubles. So we're going to see that with Dirk Boy. Um, the re These uh, man's always say that Squirtle's the best in doubles. X or X or best in Y. Or well, he's a character of extremes. Yeah. Smallest character. Yeah. Best movement. Like, lowest range. So it's like, it's not all good. But there are a lot of like problems with the character too. But in doubles, he's actually uh, actually an incredible asset to have on a team just because he's so little. So 2v1s actually are sort of an advantage for Squirtle. You can make a, uh, you can take more stocks usually from the opponent than they can take from you. Just because you're very small so the other player will back away. And actually like it creates sort of a fear of hitting your own opponent more than uh, thinking of the objective to hit your opponent. So, okay, so Squirtle, and Squ I, I think. Is what yes, and Squirtle has some dynamics against Diddy Kong that works too. Any move that he has that's in armor and slides across the ground, like a side B or crawl attack, will actually knock the banana in the air, but not make him trip. Yeah, that makes sense. Because so, side B is a special animation, so yes. it wouldn't trigger trip. And Squirtle and Dirk Boy knows this, and he uses it a lot, yeah, actually. Like, um, certain Sonic characters. Can, die, can down B and side B through. Yeah. Um, but bananas. what I was going to say is that Dirk Boy is a big fan of Squirtle's. Um, Aerial Glide Toss, it's one of the best. I'm not sure if it's the best, but it is very good. I don't thing even that's, know how. And Squirtle also has like tricks against Snake, too, with stage control. It's very hard to use uh, stage control to your advantage like really well with Squirtle. Um, like Against Squirtle, rather. Um, he can Water Gun the Mines to blow them up without much effort, and you can Short Hop Water Gun to auto-cancel it, too, so you don't have to worry about those excess frame datas of yeah. him... Uh, there's excess frames, not excess frame data is what am I saying? Um, I have a feeling that, that like, Ally wants to avoid playing Professor Pro that like, sounds in a direct about, confrontation as much as possible. That sounds about right. I believe Ally actually has a positive record versus Junebug. That makes sense. I think. I don't, I, I I don't think have, Shots won. They had, uh, they All I know is played. that Ally is one of the best PM players as well. And then Dirt Boy is just a great support in doubles. I just saw them play... Uh, an incredible set versus it was off stream. It was Envy versus DVD, but we're gonna go right into it. No hand warm or anything, right yep. in game one. So if you notice, uh, there's a lot of just like movement. He doesn't stay still ever, Dirt Boy. He likes to move around and just like make it a pain to try to approach or hit you. Wow, you up with that oh, edge guard there. Is, is it gonna follow up? Yep, that edge guard is gonna take Allies first, Doc. I know Ally is actually really good at edge guarding with Ike. Oh, wow! And Dirt that's going to be a stock off of Junebug. Junebug. That was crazy. I don't even know what he did. So, whoop. And that's going to... Yep, that's going to take a stock. So, for weight reference, Squirtle's weight in this game is the number 86, which is um, doesn't really give you much of a number. It's lighter than Peach. It's tied with Sonic. Okay. Um... So one thing I noticed about Dirt Boy when I saw him play in single player is that he actually uses a lot of water gun. Yes. Um, he kind of utilizes it in the same way that a Falco main utilizes his lasers. What he does is he kind of... Oh, wow, that the monkey spike. flip is going to do it. So now we got five stocks to six, but now it's going to be five. Oh, I thought it was going to be a stock there. Ooh, ally. Ooh, okay, tries, little, to get, tries to get the combo by Jumbo right now. Pro. So, the thing about Ike is just that he, everyone knows this, but he hits really hard. And with, yeah. like, it does create some fear. And Allies Ike um, does a lot more of, like, just hardcore spacing and fundamentals rather than, like, MLGF Ike, which is yeah. more about side B tech and, like, doing, like, crazy mix-ups. Yeah, like, um, a lot of the, a lot of Brawl players who go into Melee and PM actually become super technical. Because Brawl is a technical game, despite it not looking like it. Uh, and you'll see, like, when Nairo played, he made Fox. Um, when Zero played Melee, he was a super technical Fox. Yeah. And just situations like that. So it's very interesting to see Ally play off of his advantages as a Brawl player, knowing his uh, immaculate spacing, punishes, just like general uh, advantages in the neutral game. Plus, you know, Brawl is a game where you need, like, four reads to take a stock. So. Yes. Brawl players are super mental players. You need to win neutral a lot as well. To be as good of a Brawl player as they are, like, um... Wow! Oh, the first charge I thought, forward smash! I thought that, that the, uh, was crazy! 
Luckily, the waterfall didn't knock him in a direction that stopped the knockback, and that forward air is going to make it uh, take another stock off a of Dirt Boy. Ally is crazy. <laughs> Man, it's it's really weird because I don't think Ally actually like actively practices PM. He only really plays it for like large events like this. Yes. And he's like he, he just actually, never. Despite you know, despite this, he won Flex Zone. Yeah, it was a while ago, but he won Flex Zone. What was that? A year ago? Yeah, he won, he also won Shots One. Yeah, which is a little bit more. Uh, he's an like extremely historic. smart player. Yeah. And it, like it might not look like much right now in doubles, but. If you ever play him, it, it feels like you look really bad while you're playing against him because he just like picks you apart and will land that forward air that looks like the startup is like a day long. Oh yeah, totally. So now watch the 2v1 and how they interact with it. So if you notice, they're really staying far apart. They're, they, oh, there it is. Squirtle's lightness and floatiness is going to make that vertical kill very easy. So they're going to take game one. Wait. The, the chair swap. The chair swap, the controller flip around. It's a little interesting. All right. Yeah. Maybe something was up with them. Um, Dirt Boy actually has the same controller customization that I have. Uh, we both did the white front, black back, and black nunchuck stick for the control stick. And oh, hey. I replaced my stick with a nunchuck stick. Like yeah, isn't it great? Um, the I stick did is it longer, like so you can shield tap easier. But now we're going to do game two on Battlefield. This is probably going to be a lot better for Ally, just because um, yeah. he's going to, like, since it's a much smaller stage, he's going to be able to... Hmm. I guess they were doing a button check? Making sure yeah. everything was good to go. But are they going to wind up going on Battlefield for the game, or are they just going to... I think they're uh, just checking. All right. Yeah, they were just doing a button check. Okay. So I bet now they're going to do their stage strikes. Um, I wonder what kind of stages they'd want to go to. Probably Pokemon Stadium, but they know how well Junebug and Professor Pro are going to play on there. Perhaps Dreamland, but I would think they didn't no. ban it. And the thing is that June, I feel like Snake and Diddy are going to do really well on larger stages. Ooh, do you know what stage would actually be really great for them? Uh, Delfino. The walls would really help out Ally and... Uh, just the general, like, large size of the stage would give Dirt Boy more room to move around. And a lot less of the stage could be controlled by either Junebug or Professor Pro. Makes sense. Um... But, you know, Stadium is Stadium, and that's probably where we're gonna go, because Stadium. To be fair... It, oh, see? Called it. No, 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 it looks like they messed up. I can see Ally doing a little chuckle. Yep. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, the Y, the Y, <laughs> the Y. No. <laughs> oh boy, it's all in good fun. Okay, <laughs> everyone, everyone loves a good time. That's why we're playing Project M. Love of the game. Hold LRA start. Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> we're going Yoshi's Island Brawl. No, we're not. We better not be. He made a mistake again. He missed PS2. No, twice. I think one of them is actually moving the stick just to be funny. See they're, see, they're moving their hands. <laughs> Alright, so... There's a bunch of jokers. Game two is going to be Pokemon. Oh, boy. So right into it. Ooh, it's that mine accidentally hitting Junebug. So now he goes to start a C4 combo, but Squirtle's up air actually is great against those heavier characters like Snake because you can kind of string it into itself. Hit like three or four, and it hits pretty hard. It does about 10% each before Steel moves. So you can get a good like 35%. Wow, Junebug's edge guard on Ally there was crisp. That was he super crisp. He just buried crisp. him off stage. Looking like Steel. Oh, show. that up air is going to take out uh, Dirt Boys before it's going to take out Professor Pro. Professor Pro Snake definitely ate some cake before breakfast. Um, and for breakfast, and lunch, and dinner. It's pretty heavy. Oof. So, oh. Dude is so agile. So another thing. Wow, the um, read by Ally. That was an excellent read. So, ooh. He is just tossing that up smash out. Ooh, the second hit of up smash. It's actually stronger it than is. the first hit. Or the second hit of up air. First Ike. So Dirt Boy is one of the people who uh, has been trying to optimize Squirtle. So he has a lot of um, knowledge about like uh, characters like combos and different confirms that you have that I haven't really gotten into yet. 
And one of the very interesting ones that he showed me is you can actually, his really quick crawl attack, if you've seen it, um, can actually, at high percents, combo into up smash, which is a KO yeah. confirmed. Which is guaranteed on all but two characters. Yeah, actually, people have been doing that since, like, 3.0. Yeah. I remember uh, Juchains was doing that for a while. Yeah. Cool. And... Ooh, and the Nair to cover that recovery, and the down tilt's Ooh. gonna take the stock. I like with that clean forward tilt. Greedy for the up B, it's not gonna do it. Wow! The Ooh. setups! Goes into his own green, uh, line, I believe. Alright, Ally is stuck. And now we're gonna see how it works out. Wow, Ju with that back air! Oh, but quick draw, giving Ally just enough distance to get back on stage. Oh, and that's gonna take out Ally's stock. But we're still about even game here. Yeah, this is uh, this is fairly even. Drover Boy's a little high on percentage, but it's nothing that can't be remedied. And it's something that can be taken advantage of. Yeah. <laughs> so Snake's up tilt. Oh, oh wow, wow. The, that the was scoops. sick. That was so sick. I get, dude. Oh, we got now. a hard two v one here. We have three. Wow, the sticky oh. two. These two, this looks so practiced right now. Yes. They, they have to, like, well, they played enough doubles to know, like, optimal situations. So now, hmm. and I know Junebug uh, from NDVA actually has a lot of experience against Squirtles, like, uh, Juchains. Yeah. So, this is nothing new for him, and a lot of times, like, uh, I know Europe does not have a lot of representatives for Squirtle. Like, there was Yuppie for a little bit, but he, oh... 129%. This Ooh. is a really high percent for Squirtle. He's probably gonna up air and take the stock. Oh, <laughs> June, what up are you tilt doing? will do it. June, what are you or doing? that, what? or that. What? That was actually really flashy, you know. That was like, whew. June did the MTK there for a minute. He just was like, I'm gonna stand here and down smash, and if you want the down smash, dude, that, I actually really oh, We are going. This best of five. Oh, this is winner semis, I believe. It's yes, this is best of five. And we're doing the run back right to see him. But Derp Boy. Seems to really be addressing his situations. He's just trying to go aggro now. Seeing if maybe that'll help him. Ooh. Best way to think of him now, um, he kind of plays like a little chic. He's got the grab game. He's got, ooh, he's wow. the water in the gun. counters. Ally actually does a surprisingly large amount of counters from what I've seen. Yes. Um, it's a great edge guard tool for Ike. I'm not sure how great. It's just like strange because it's, it's one of those moves that you don't really see other players use that often. Yeah. Wow! Like, Professor Pro with that forward air! Dirt Boy's down the stock oh, immediately. Oh, that accidental and betrayal. He takes out Ally. This is looking not so hot oh, for Blue Team right that now. That must have been scary right there, the forward smash. I mean, the synergy just, of these two kind of falling apart here with. Um, I think they're just slightly. You know, on edge from uh, the last game. Yeah, see that? He accidentally threw... I don't know if it's intentional. He did throw the banana at his teammate. Oh, the stickies. Ally not breaking it up. Ally just kind of seeing it go down. Knows that if anything bad does happen, he's going like, to run right in. Wow. That side be forward there. Just reaching for it. The thing is, he does have a horizontal kill throw. So... One Squirtle does get, um, like, if he were to get close enough to Professor Pro, he could probably take a stock right now with a down throw, especially on the side of the stage. By 140, I believe it's guaranteed, regardless of stage position or DI. Wow, Professor Pro! Professor Actually, Pro, please. Helps save Ally there for a minute. Ally accidentally double text. Air dodge right by the ledge. Oh, excellent DI. Wow, Dirt Boy actually had that really good DI there. Oh, and that down. Down Ooh. smash by June. Oh, oh, but I like stocks going down, down really quick. quick. Everyone it's has two dead stocks. even. I'm really liking the uh, Pokemon Battle Revolution music playing. I don't know whose build this is, but great choice. <laughs> Chibo nodding approval. It's like I did this. That's right. me. That's me. <laughs> well, Professor Pro sneakily putting the grenades around and up throw fair. Uh, no follow up, but. It's a very good edge guarding character, so you might see some. Oh, and there's a. Oh, it's just so hard to edge guard Snake. What? Ooh, 87 percent. Sticky up tilt. And that's gonna take another stock. Yep. Was, like that one was a lot more justified. Being June like, and Prop. 148. Looking so clean right now. Wow. Ally is just like really loving to charge that force. Smash. He's doing it really. It really is threatening when he does it though. 
But he's gonna charge it for that long. I wanna see him hold the taunt. <clears throat> oh wow! Oh, that hit hard. If you notice Squirtle actually gets really small when he does it, when he's in a sleeping animation, so I imagine it being a lot harder to sticky Squirtle. While in Trank. Not sure though, I would have to test it with another snake. Um, I don't think so. I think uh, Snake reaches down. Oh, it does reach down? Yeah. I thought it would like put it actually like where no. he, his hand goes. Alright, so now we get a 1v2 from Ally instead of Dirt Boy this time. This is probably the better scenario yes. of the two. Just because Ally's a really smart player and, I, and Ike oh. is such a heavy hitter that... Yeah. And although this is Project M, he Ooh. does know Snake. That was his main and brawl. Yeah. Ooh, that was a meaty hit. Just like hit nice and hard, dude. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. dude, and with that, the follow-ups. And that's gonna be it. That is gonna be the set. That Doom was really Buck good. Pro looking with a pretty tight 3-0, but I wouldn't say any of those games were taken for free.